In our last video, we took a look at how to create a zip file of our plugin and then upload it to WordPress.org for evaluation. It's been three days since I did that, and today I got this email. It says your plugin hosting request has been approved. Within one hour, you will have access to your SVN repository at this address. Now, SVN is an abbreviation for Subversion, which is a version control system, similar to Git. If we click this link, it takes us right to this page. And this is my SVN repository. I haven't actually put anything into it yet. It comes preloaded with these four folders. It says here I can access it with my WordPress.org username and password. That's for actually uploading stuff. No one else can upload to this except for me. And then it says, here's some handy links to help you get started. This first one is the most important one. We're going to take a look at that right now. There's some documentation here on how to use Subversion. But I'm going to skip right to the most important part, which is task one, starting from scratch with your brand new plugin repository. We're going to do three things here. Check out the blank repository, add our files to trunk, and check those files back into the central repository. And right here, it lists the exact commands of what we want to do. Now, I have a terminal here, and I'm in my current plugin folder. You can see I'm in mnn-headlines-wordpress-widget, and I have three files in there. Now, I'm going to make a folder called .org, and it's empty. And you can see it there next to all my other stuff. And doing that fulfilled this. I used the words .org instead of my local dir. And now, SVN, CO, which stands for check out, and then this URL, and then my local dir. Now that URL is this one that came right in my email. So we're going to do svncourl.org. Just like that. And there we are. You'll note that it did not ask for my username and password. Anyone can check out. It's checking in and uploading new stuff that requires a username and password. So now I can go into .org. And there I have assets, branches, tags, and trunk. Let's see what's next in the instructions. Here you can see that they got the same results we did. And then it says we should go into that directory, which we did, and then copy my plugin information into trunk, both the file and the readme. Trunk right now is empty, as you can see. So I'm going to do CP and then my PHP file into .org trunk. And I'm going to do the same with the README. There. Then we can do SVN add trunk slash asterisk I'm going to go into the dot org folder do svn add trunk asterisk there now we've just told svn that we have these new files that we want to push up and lastly we do svn ci dash m and a comment. The CI actually pushes our stuff back up to the server. I'm just going to write initial commit. There. It knows what username it's expecting because of 
the SVN repo we're on. So now I just have to put in my WordPress.org password. And there we are. It's done. Now we should be able to go to WordPress.org, go to Plugins, then this is actually the slug of the plugin. And there we are. You can download version 1.0. Here's my description, my title, installation instructions, other notes, change log, etc. And now my plugin is live. There are a few more things we can do to it, though, and we'll take a look at those in coming videos.